Hello everyone, it's Olshas and today I'm gonna show you how to bypass Google account and this is the latest version and should work for many many updated uh, Android devices. So stay tuned. First of all, make sure guys that your SIM card is inserted. So it's very important that you insert your SIM card because otherwise this method will not work and this might be a valid SIM card. So guys, first of all, what you will have to have is your PC and USB cable and of course your device. So uh, first, just go to your browser and then search for real term number two download. And the first link will be coming from SourceForge and this safe link. So do not worry, proceed with that and then click for download. Just in short term it will start downloading and you can see it just below it popped up a uh, download. Since it's downloaded you just click on that, proceed with the clicking for yes, then just continue with then clicking next and install and finish that with the closing just click finish then you'll have to open this application and for me it's on the desktop just make sure that you can find it easily and run it as administrator just click yes now for some of you guys this should work from the first case and some of you you might have to restore your PC because it also might not work it can have any bugs also cannot find the device so make sure that that you either relaunch this application or restart your PC so um, let's get in some comments that you will have to type in so make sure that your device is clicked on is is connected so okay and then go to find your pc and uh, okay for example let's go here or let's go on the here and then search for this pc click for properties and then device manager after clicking that you will have to find modems double click on that and then right click for, for properties and then click for modem section and you will see com port with a com 7 7 this is the most essential information here so this is a port with number 7 once you open the program real term just make sure that uh, you tick half tuplex the second thing you have to go to port and you're already seeing that it's number seven which is correct number you don't have to change anything just proceed with that to section number send uh, with a send name and here you will have to to put some comments uh, first of all one the first one is uh, this one I will just put that and show you Okay, this is the first comment that you will have to put and just click send. Okay, wait a little bit. And it might show some errors because it doesn't work. So uh, guys, if it's not working, just try to uh, relaunch your application because you can see that it doesn't show up nothing. So just relaunch your application, click for once again real term, run as administrator, okay, yes, then check the port, it's correct, then click send, then put the command again, also uh, on display half tuplex must be ticked and then click send. 
and you can see now it's working so guys make sure if it doesn't work just relaunch your application or restart your pc it might help so the first the first command is put you have to follow with the second command and the second command must be put on the same field click for uh, ctrl c on copying and ctrl v on uh, testing so this is the numbers and this is the numbers that it will call to the, the following numbers so just click that part ok also you can see that the phone is already calling so just click cancel the call and just click message you can see that this is the number that we called so we have to put into message the browser link and it will be just a google.com or with the extension of your country so let's put google.com then send it okay um you can click cancel but anyway uh just click for google.com okay guys so you will have to download es file browser by but you will have to download it with the samsung galaxy apps application which is already should be on the device even though it's hard reset so just click on the samsung.com galaxy apps and then on this uh, website you will have to click on samsung galaxy apps so now you will have to agree to terms and conditions and also you will have to sign in but uh, i will just show you just find es file explorer click on the download and you will have to make sure that you sign in with a Samsung Google account credentials you can also create the account or you can do on your PC so I will do that and get back to you okay now we can see that we are signed in okay now accept and download should download then you can see that it's installing so it doesn't take a very long time once installed just click on the application open and then you will have to add few things here so uh, just get back and click on this just click on the favorite and then add here we'll, we will add few paths so the first one will be uh, downloading Google Bypass account. So um, I will tell you the website is uh, Google dot Google. Uh, just a second, this one, the third one. So I will put. You will have to put that on here in the path field. Then dot g o and dash hk it's zero wd and then let's name it like a bypass okay just add it then it's successfully added you could see the notification now uh just click on the bypass You can see that we are the red direct okay guys so you will have to click on the root on this file and then once it downloaded so just click open file install and you will see this popped up install install is blocked and for security you will have to go to into settings and then tick unknown sources and also allow this uh, for all the time so just untick that so install okay great get back now you will have to add one more link and this will be http then two dots and then Slashes. 
vmrom.net bypass also we can add uh, google.com because uh, you can also find many many google account managers on the on the google so um don't worry google account manager so let's name it like this but you can also name uh, it with different way so you can see the bookmark gum is created successfully go to get into that and then scroll it down and then click on the gum and uh, for guys uh, you have the latest android device uh, and it will require you to if you have android 6.0 one or newer device you will have to download this google account manager so just wait a little bit it will take a little bit time so stay tuned no so um <clears throat> as i mentioned before that uh, if you have also uh android point 5.0 so you can click on that uh, gum 5 now proceed with the install okay of course i want to install that just click install okay so since it's installed so nothing should be done okay and um, <clears throat> and now you will have to click on once again on this part so that I will explain you okay I just click on that open the file install can okay, install because uh, this part should have been uh, done first so anyway you just open that and uh, you have to retype your password but uh, you don't know in fact you don't know what it is so just click on the bottom and browse sign in click ok and here you will have to add your own account which you know your password your login so just add your information and after guys you put all your information just make sure that you restored your device click restore and then you restore that okay and after a few minutes you will be able to see that this device is doesn't locked anymore and it's not locked anymore so you will be able to use that without any problem so let's take a very fast look Okay, now we just head in. Well, it's already this information is inside the device. Okay, checking connection. checking software update and you can see clearly that the account has been added your first account is ready for use you can add and remove accounts later in settings so this is how you bypass google account on samsung galaxy phones and in this case this is samsung a3 so you just click next and just next skip skip and how we get into restoring information okay let's okay now just head in Okay. 
Okay. Just later. Next. And finish. And you can see that we already have a new. <laughs> this is nice, really nice. It's just finished. So, this is how you bypass Google account. So, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And don't, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Yeah, take care.